Hey there, welcome to a new episode of Kyushu Corner. I am Sensei Mish, and this is kind of a throwback Thursday episode, um, even though we are on Wednesday, but that's beside the point. I was going through some pictures uh, the other day, and uh, I came across some that I took to the Oregon Vortex uh, with Jack Hogan, uh, Grandmaster Jack Hogan, and some other martial arts friends of mine. And that sparked a search for video that I shot down there, uh, and I wanted to share it with you today, and I found it. So, let's take a trip down Amnesia Lane. I can't remember who hosted him specifically, but it was around June of 2004, uh, Grandmaster Hogan was out here in the Pacific Northwest to teach a seminar and to give him a better tour of the area besides just the city, which can get, get kind of boring, my instructor decided to organize a trip down to the Oregon Vortex. Now, for those of you who may not know, uh, Oregon Vortex is located in Southern Oregon, just south of Grants Pass. And it's kind of a energy slash magnetic vortex. Uh, in fact, the area was considered forbidden ground by the local Native Americans who observed that their horses and other animal life tended to stay away from that area. So they, of course, followed suit. But that didn't stop the Old Gray Mining Company from building what would eventually be known as the House of Mystery. <laughs> now, depending on where you are, uh, the perspectives of height can be skewed. Brooms can stand on end, bottles and balls can appear to roll uphill, dogs and cats start living together. Well, that last part's just a bad movie reference, but in real, during our visit, one of the gals in our group became very dizzy and especially nauseous the closer she got to the center of the vortex. So something, is, something was going on with her. She was susceptible to something. Now, if, if you want to check them out and take a gander for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below uh, to their website so you can go visit or read more up on it. Now, one of the things that Jack was known for when it came to martial arts is that he was very adept when it came to energetics. Uh, in fact, McDojo Life even took a stab or two at him for some of his demonstrations of his no-touch knockouts and other energy work. Whether you believe in chi or some kind of life force or not, doesn't matter. It's generally accepted that all life has some kind of bioelectrical energy in its makeup. It's how signals are sent through our nervous system, how different cells talk to each other. There are some that believe you can manipulate this energy like Jedi do with the force. Now, that might be a far out example. I don't personally prescribe to the theory of metachlorians, but when it came to Jack being able to use energy to move people or even knock people out from 15, 20 feet away, this guy was legit. I have personally experienced his no-touch knockout, and all I can say is though it may not be in the moment combat applicable, it is definitely not a hoax. So one of the reasons for our visit down there was to see the vortex and how it would affect our energetics when it came to martial arts and other stuff. Uh, specifically, we wanted to get Jack's perspective. So you could kind of call this a martial science experiment field trip. As I remember it, uh, before entering the area uh, where you can do, they have little experiments set up and there's the house of mystery. Uh, you can go in their gift store, pay for entry. And there was this group before us uh, that was specifically asked to hand over their video camera because not video cameras are not allowed. Now, I had my video camera with me, of course, and it was a little bit smaller. I could conceal it in my, uh, in my coat, which I had, which is probably why I wasn't asked to hand it over or put it back in the car. And even today on their website, they still say no cameras, no video cameras are allowed. But if you go on YouTube, you can see how well that notice works. But anyway, 
for the first part, I only took pictures because I didn't want to get want us to get kicked out. The first thing we did was a perspective height test. Uh, you can see Jim Slothauer and Jack doing the height comparison. In this picture, they appear to be the same height. Notice the stick is level, and please notice where Jack measures up. Now, when they switch spots, Jim appears to be significantly taller, as according to the little scale there. Um, but when the stick goes across, where it comes to the top of Jack's head and the stick, there's only just a couple of inches. So there is definitely some difference there. Now, here's a picture of Jack and Dave, Daniel's girlfriend at the time. I think they're still together, possibly married. I could be wrong. I haven't talked to Dave in a long time. And here's our guide talking about the house of mystery, kind of giving us some background. And of course, we go inside. So, you know, there's uh, they have stuff hanging from the wall. And, and the broom that I mentioned earlier, you can see it standing on end, making it more cool than it was uh, before it was a thing. Now, on the other side of the house, uh, there's this open area that we hung out in and did some experimenting of our own. Uh, this is where I pulled the camera out and at least got it out enough to record. I still didn't want us to get kicked out. But before we get to that, I wanted to show you my favorite picture from the day. This is Dave Daniel, either doing a no touch or playing with Edmund's energy. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember our guide. You can see her here. She did not know what to make of us and kind of left us alone after that. This footage of us, of Jack, is us experimenting in a different environment. I like to refer to it as playing. This is not a demo. This is nobody proving that they can stop a vicious attacker without touching them. This is a form of learning, of experimentation. So please enjoy. What happened at the last First off, normally I cannot ever move. Jack could not move. Dan could not Dan could not Yeah, I know. You're wobbling. I couldn't You can see yourself straining against it. You can see it. Did somebody get that? Oh, yeah, I see. With a photo. I took a full length, yeah. Good.
<laughs> no, wait a minute. Jack, are you wearing a ring? No. natural resistance to to not do that, do that and to balance myself and trying not to resist that. I think if I could have just relaxed, you guys would have had me. We'd make you that. float. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we're relaxed. The next tour is getting close. <laughs> 
Just have the hoop. I want to put my heels back down. Well, see, your energy level and my energy level. You know, I don't think Instantly, just for the last part. Or do have it done to you or do it to someone else? It's what I call my stinky foot syndrome. It doesn't matter. It's only helping you from the inside. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna get it slow. Okay. Look, no, I'm not gonna do anything yet. So tuck it when you're working on Dave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start shaking. I thought it started tipping back. I was gonna go over. I stepped into it. And all of a sudden, his hand on this way. Okay. So I'll stand on this. Look at her shoulder. This should be. Right. They're uneven. They're still uneven. But not as bad. Two-inch difference between those shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easy, a lot easier to rock him facing that way. Now which way is my body right? so He's facing which way right now? I go clockwise. Which way is he facing right now? Not sure on this one. Not actually put your back. Well, no, no, no. I mean, north, south, east, west. Okay. Uh, north. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. north, okay. Audio for the camera. Yeah, see, I could almost Shh. instantly drop you. Oh, yeah, try it. As soon as they're done. North is open. Yeah, okay. Hmm? That's yeah, normal. let me face it this way. And then again, I'll see you feel it through the body. result both of us facing the west. <laughs> I saw what you were doing. <laughs> no. Face her west. We, face west. we just did a bunch of other experiments and we're both facing west. The result is on this west. That is definitely directional, but not so much. Oh, look at you. Uh -huh. My body wasn't making mm -hmm. this Did you get the thing with tape? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And it was very noticeable. Oh, yeah.
So, Jim, <laughs> you know, I think I'm getting pretty much the small deal out of here. Yeah, I think it's pretty Okay. Are we finished? I think so. So what'd you think? Have you been to the Oregon Vortex? Have you played with energy? Have do you, do you are you even a believer? Now, if if you've gotten this far, you've probably had some interest in it, but if you haven't been to the Vortex, I highly suggest going down there. Uh, please see the link below. Uh, and please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done all, done so already. Ring the little bell to let you know when I post something new and I'm getting more videos out there. You know, there was a little break there, but that's okay. And I, I would say, please support me on Patreon like all the other YouTubers, but I don't have a Patreon. Uh, I do, however, have a website, uh, qshowcorner.com. You can go there, link in, in the description below. And I have little memberships that uh, you can help me out uh, with some benefits. So, um, like, subscribe, here's some extra videos that you can watch, and I'll see you on the next video.